My name is Ernest Chavez. I'm the lightweight champion for Bama USA. And I'll be fighting October 25th against Dion Ramirez. It felt like a privilege to get a title shot uh, right after that first fight with Tom Gladman. Um, I think that was partly due to uh, you know, the good graces of Brett, but at the same time, I think uh, I did a decent performance against Tom Gladman, who was a tough opponent. So I think that's why they gave me the opportunity. And uh, luckily, I was able to capitalize on it. I didn't, I didn't at one moment think I was going to finish George in the first round. However, I did train to finish. I wasn't expecting to go five rounds. You know, either I was going to get put away or he was. Um, however, uh, you're always going to get different uh, problems from each opponent. George was very athletic, long, he's really good in jiu-jitsu, he's better than what I was. You know, so um, not to say I'm no slouch in jiu-jitsu, it's just that's his forte. So um, I had trained specifically for him and, you know, I ended up... Uh, End up working out and I showed him that uh, you know a couple holes that he had and we were able to exploit them. It was awesome to get that belt put around my waist. You know, um, it, it just it seems like a reward for all the hard work you put in and and you know most of the time people don't recognize you when you're in a lower promotion. So to get to a, a higher a higher stature promotion and then finally get the title there, um, it felt amazing. It felt amazing and it, it was even better when you know you walk out to your family and friends and fans and and you can show something for it. You know. Obviously, I fought Dion in the past. I already knew he was a strong and, uh, and a, you know, very strong and a worthy opponent. Especially when I saw him there, I was like, "Oh, he's back. He's in Bama now. That's good." I've been following him a little just because that's what I do. I'm, I'm a nerd when it comes to the whole MMA scene. So uh, I know he had a couple of tough fights, but he's, he's always been good. Um, when I saw him fight Tony Greer, man, he did a he did a hell of a job. You know, he kept the distance. He kept the you know good defense against the takedown. Kept it in his world until until he was able to daze and, and hurt Toby and then finished him up, even on the ground when he wasn't. Yeah, so I mean, more power to him that he, he did a really good job, really good performance. I just thought that I would possibly end up fighting him again if uh, he kept on winning. And it's the same for other fighters in the past, like if I see them on a good winning streak I, and I'm still winning, most likely you're going to collide, uh, you know, eventually. So I thought that was a possibility. I didn't think it would be so soon, but nonetheless. I think Dion's gonna be motivated to come to this fight regardless of my record in, in the Bama's cage or, or not. I mean, I'm, I'm his first loss. Um, who doesn't want the title, you know, on top of that? I mean, he's hungry, I'm pretty, he's been fighting for quite some time, the same amount of time I have. So uh, yeah, even if he thinks he rightly deserves it or not, or he had a longer route to get there, he's still here now and I'm sure he's gonna, he's gonna come with his A game. He's gonna come with crazy cardio. I, well, I always, I always think like this: like vengeance fuels a lot. You know, if you can get a, you know, in your head, you know, erase a loss. You know, he's gonna come. He's gonna do things he's never done before and push his body to limits he hasn't tested. So, um, I'm sure it's gonna be a hard fight, and I'm sure he's gonna come with it. But I, I, I I've grown a lot. I'm pretty sure he has. But uh, cardio is not gonna be the area where he dominates me at. You know, most definitely, it's gonna be all out war. But I'm still gonna come out with my hand raised. You know, the only added pressure I get is um, the more fans and friends that, 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 that come to the show, believe in me, always help me out, you know, trying to like buy me good food or, you know, just people trying to help out in general and, and try and push me and, and help me in my career. Those, the, more I, the more people I get backing me up, the more pressure I feel. But it's not necessarily because it's a belt, you know, or, or a certain fighter. It's just uh, you don't want to let certain people down because a lot of people pour their heart and soul into you and back you up in your career and your decisions. And so that's. You know, that's where the pressure comes from, not so much that it's a title fight or whoever the opponent is. Yeah, when we train, uh, we train all aspects. I mean, I've never been really on my back for longer than like 10 seconds on the fight, but I train always on my back, you know, and it's just you got to prepare for every situation because you never know when it's going to arise. So, luckily, between Eddie Cha, Julian Prado, Brady Fink, Sebastian Lopez, all these guys who just help me, train me, mend me up, put me in different scenarios and get people together to uh, give me a camp. Um, you know, I'm ready to go wherever it goes. You know, they, they don't they don't tell me just to hit here, hit there, and get some points, hold on to the person. They never say anything like that. We always go in there to finish. This is a long layoff from, from my previous fight, um, but I had a longer layoff in the past. After my first fight, I took some time off just because uh, I needed to get my life a certain way uh, before I got back into the whole fight game. But this, yeah, this is probably the second longest uh, hiatus I had. Uh, the, the good thing is um, I have a different stand-up coach now, so it gave me time to grow with him, understand his style. Um, so I, I think of it as a blessing, to be honest, because it would have been, I would have been a little nervous and my confidence would have been a little shy if I just switched the coach and then two months later had a fight. So it was good to have this little time to grow with him. Big shout out to all my uh, teammates, Chris Costello, Christian Aguilera, Sebastian Lopez, Hector Carrillo, Jason Williams, 
I'm pretty sure I'm missing out on some people, but uh, mad luck to all of them. My friends and family who always support me. Um, you know, uh, my sponsor, Versa Climber, Iridium Sports Agency, uh, more notably Jason House, who's my manager. Um, OC Fight Dog, Dr. Kess, mad love for him. He always takes care of my body. Um, you know, Versa Climber, he's taking care of me the past couple fights. You know, I get a lot of good cardio with them. Uh, it's, you know, Scott Kelsley, who uh, my, old, my old management team, who still comes down and supports and, and backs me up whenever they can. And I think it's right there. The, the fans can expect for my first title defense to be to, take, to have the fight go everywhere. Stand up, ground. It's gonna be. I, I really feel it's gonna be a war of attrition, you know, and, and hard. So, uh, especially with such a worthy opponent. So, I, I you know, uh, they're really gonna get. They're gonna really be in for a good show. You know, uh, get your tickets soon because it's gonna be all out war for sure.